What's up, guys? Welcome back to Chernobylite. I am standing in the exact same place that I just left you at. Let's do this. Episode 3. Wonderful. I've almost got a level. Pretty close, anyway. Um, I don't think that there was a way into that room over there. I think we needed a lockpick. Unfortunately, we don't have one. Maybe I can craft one. Let me, uh... Let me see here. Environmental. Remember that building can be quite noisy in the zone is a dangerous place. Okay, well, it's definitely not that. Basic field workshop is not what I want. No... No. It's just a firework trap. A laser explosive trap. Wow. How about that? Okay, so you can see kind of where it uh, lines up. Landmine. Pretty decent. Not super expensive. Electroshocking trap. Simulating. And, of course, a big-ass gun trap. That'll be interesting to mess around with. Uh, we're not going to build any of those. So, okay, I can't... Can't build a... Uh, a lockpick, unfortunately. But, anyway, let's... Uh, Continue on here. What's... What's in this general direction? Where are you leading me? Oh. There's a guy. I would rather not shoot him. If possible. Hey. <laughs> Never mind. I was I was about to murder you. Такой высокий, сгорбленный мужчина с длинными темными волосами. Может ты его видел? Как-то не довелось. You have a face mask? Что такое? Я ищу своего брата Афанасия. Он недавно исчез без следа. Я уже все тут обыскал. What we got here? А что вы вообще тут делаете? Зона. Опасное место. Ну, наши секреты я раскрывать не буду, но, скажем так, в Трипети есть много бесхозных ценностей. Правда? У тебя хорошая аура. Ты сам все узнаешь. Аура хорошая. Ну ладно. Я тоже кое-кого ищу. Может, и брата твоего найду. Благодарю. Пусть удача улыбнется тебе и поможет в поисках. А у тебя что-нибудь, ну, поинтереснее? А я уж думал, ты не спросишь. One lockpick for two food rations, huh? I mean, I've only got two food rations, but this would get me into that room up on the house. Hmm. You know what? Yes. Let's do it. Счастливого пути, друг мой. Да. И возьми oh. вот это. Как знать, может пригодиться. Ah, he gave me a freaking lockpick anyway, you son of a... Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so apparently that guy will just give you a lockpick after you talk to him, so don't do what I did and totally, potentially waste food resources. Alright, let's uh, get back up to this house and use this lockpick. Alright. 
Ta-da! Open. Chemicals, mechanical, mechanical, chemicals, stuff and stuff and things. Alcohol. What do we have here? Herbs and anti radiation. Well, it's not food. Oh, how did I not grab this earlier? I saw it. I just didn't go back for it, I guess. Well, we didn't get food, but. Uh, See any food rations nearby? No? Okay. Well, we'll keep an eye out for it. Food rations and whatnot. I feel like uh, we're going to need to stay on top of that. As far as things are concerned. We should probably spend some time also going to these other question marks and whatnot. We got some on the way a little bit here. What's the sign? Radiation sign? But if I find any scannings for food rations, I'm probably going to have to go after them. I don't know if it's like one of those you use one food a day kind of things. I feel like it is. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. It's like another little house there. We got some things here. I'm assuming that I'm going to... That's not creepy at all. I'm assuming that we're going to run into traps and stuff that we're going to have to disarm or... Keep an eye out. For... What the hell is this thing? <laughs> what the hell? What is this? Container. Oh, sweet. It's got revolver ammo. Very nice. Considering we haven't had to fire our revolver once, that is, uh, definitely a come-up there. Getting a decent amount of flammable parts here. I would like more, uh, like, sound effects placed in for, like, these bushes and stuff if you walk through them. So right now it's just like they're just not there. But, uh, it's kind of a nitpick. A little bit. Other than that, though, I really like the atmosphere of the game so far, and like I said before, um, the game is going to be patched for a day one kind of a deal, so stability issues, bugs, and things like that hopefully will be addressed. What's going on in here? I don't like the sound of that. like at all actually mm -mm. nope I don't like that at all what the hell is that sounds like there's two of them maybe How well revolvers are gonna do against them, but I don't think I want to mess with them just yet. Let's focus on what we're doing here, huh? I'll eventually deal with that, but for now, how about not? What kind of stuff is in there anyway? Is that an herb right here? Looks like there's a container or something. Come on, get up there. Okay, guess I'm not getting that herb. So yeah, it looks like a container, chemicals. I'm sure there's more things in there. Definitely an alternate entrance type of a deal. Let's 
Gas mask filter, not bad. I don't even think I have a gas mask, to be honest. Nothing in here, huh? Nothing down there. Does not appear to be. Ah, oh, there's some stuff. I really like how the game feels so far. I guess we're gonna lockpick this then. Shotgun slugs. Ooh, and a shotgun. Nice. Check us out. We've got ourselves a shotgun. Four rounds in the tube here. What do we got here? What's up with this thing? Widened barrel. Assault stock, chamber reinforcement. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So I can put this uh, somewhere else. Let's uh, put it over here, actually. Let's put that there. Put this here. Rads there. Alright, what about the alcohol? What do we do with that? Consume. Will lighten your mood and heal your psyche. Okay. Do a decent amount for psyche, actually. Automatically consume your health drops to zero during combat. Oh! Okay. So we'll keep our weapons on the, uh, the right on the D-pad and equipment on the left. Oh yeah, uh, rifle butting is uh, R2. Without uh, aiming down sights. Wham. Wow, knife. So it looks like you can only shoot when you're actually ADS. So, not too bad. Oh, I see you, mister. Let's not attract the attention of the fellow humans, if we can avoid it. Alright, I don't know where that guy is. Let's get out of here. Oh, yes. Food rations. Perfect. So we've got more than we came in from. I wonder if we can... Maybe turn mushrooms and stuff like that into food rations. Maybe with the stove? I would certainly hope so. Alright, let's start heading towards some of our objectives and whatnot. Okay, can't reach through the window. Nice. It's like, I feel like I'm going to be missing a lot of stuff here, you know? There's a lot of buildings and structures that I haven't really been checking. Yeah, look at that. Didn't get brought up on the scanner. I don't know how far out the scanner can actually detect things, but... <coughs> it's not too terribly far. So... Oh, yeah. Even though we can scan, we still need to keep our eyes open. <clears throat> There's a thing there. I 
do you find it a little funny that it says electronical part? <clears throat> oh, got a got something stuck in my throat. <coughs> Hang on. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Ten meters off from something. Сколок. Прозвище агента КГБ. Наверное, уже не удастся узнать, кто это был. Comrade Markolov, respectfully, I would like to appeal to you on behalf of one of our field operatives, codename Agent Splinter. He's a good communist and a fantastic surveillance officer who has recently been deemed unfit for duty on the grounds of failing his psychological evals. Comrade Markolov, I personally handpicked Agent Splinter during his studies at Leningrad Polytechnics, and I can vouch for both his integrity and usefulness to our department's current operations. As much as I appreciate the work and input of our staff psychiatrist, Dr. Bru Bruhanov, Bruha, Bruhanov, I feel the strong need to empathize the urgency or emphasize the urgency of our current assignments that, in my opinion, deem such considerations secondary. Therefore, I would like to ask you to back my request to reinstate Agent Splinter to active duty so he can continue his work in Pripyat. Despite experiencing some minor personal difficulties, Agent Splinter remains one of our top field officers, and I need him on the ground to safeguard the new DUGA project. Respectfully, Comrade Major Kuznetsov. P.S. My father, Volodya, sends his love. He asks if you will join him for the upcoming Veterans Reunion. Interesting. Did I just leave this on the ground? I guess so. Okay. Flammables. Oh, nice. More food. You'll love to see it. Okay, we're pretty close to uh, our objective now. I would like a pair of binoculars, if I'm being honest. Scouting out locations is always important. Figuring out what you're going up against and whether or not you need to go in guns blazing or not is a good idea. Got some chemicals. No food rations nearby. I'm hearing more of those things. Whatever those things are. Some kind of Chernobylite abominations. Come on, grab it. Grab some mushrooms. heck is this thing? Let's see that entrance to the sewers. You guys know I don't want to go in there. I've almost got enough skill points. Or enough experience to get a skill point. Maybe two. I don't know how many you get on level. We'll find out eventually. Of course. Reached a new level. Nice. When you're ready, use the portal generator from your inventory to go back to the refuge. Okay. Nice. So it doesn't automatically take you back. That's good. You can kind of pick and choose when. Well, 
They want me to go into the sewer. Of course they do. A little floating grass there on stuff. that these things can apparently teleport whenever they want oh. is this thing just oh, invisible or what It's invisible, guys. Hmm. Oh, 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 shit. Run, run, run. Ooh, hoo, hoo, okay. Shadow. Well, I shot it. Got it. Well, bullets work on it. It makes me feel better. Oh, nice. We do get things from their bodies. That's good. You know... Alright, let's check it out. <laughs> this is probably a bad idea. seeing any more items but oh I don't have a lockpick of course all right let's see let's go <laughs> all right well I killed one of them so, can't say that I didn't, but uh, yeah, I did just kind of run away there at the end. Ooh, flashes of stuff. Neat. Oh, hey bud, you made it back. Похоже, мы можем проникать в зону и выбираться оттуда, не привлекая внимания. You okay? Как успехи? Как продвигаются поиски твоей старушки? Все еще хочешь вернуться на электростанцию? Я должен туда вернуться. Я чувствую, что она там. Чувствуешь? Ох, удивляешь ты меня, профессор Хименюк. Доверять предчувствиям важно. Но без железобетонных доказательств я не собираюсь рисковать жизнью, как в тот день, когда погиб Антон. Не беспокойся, Оливер. Я же не сумасшедший. Сначала соберу все данные и 
Только после этого мы придумаем новый план. Доказательства, улики, планы, сведения, ресурсы. Нам нужно все, что приблизит тебя к цели, Игорь. Ладно. Что у тебя? Обсудим через минуту. Но сперва я хочу, чтобы ты принял кое-что к сведению. Продолжай. У тебя появились новые обязанности. Ты нанял меня, арендовал этот склад. Так что теперь ты командующий на этой базе. А значит, несешь ответственность за снаряжение, которое здесь хранится. И что важнее, за все пайки. Пора начать мыслить стратегически. Ты возглавляешь военную операцию. Руководство базы и забота о личном составе на тебе. по себе. Если не обеспечишь личный состав пайками, никто не захочет воевать. Может даже разбегутся. Кроме того, когда ресурсы ограничены, важно считаться с психологией групп. Выбирать себе любимчиков, награждать горе бойцов и игнорировать тех, кто честно терпит все тяготы военной жизни. Самый верный способ вызвать недовольство личного состава. Какой личный состав? Наши всего двое. Это пока. Если ты и правда хочешь пробраться на электростанцию, нам понадобятся еще люди. Тебе необходимы сильные и умелые бойцы. И каждому бойцу нужно где-то спать, что-то есть и чем-то стрелять. Знаю, ты хочешь выкинуть все это из головы и ринуться на поиски. Но прояви терпение. Тебе нужен план. Тебе нужно время. Не игнорируй потребности своих соратников. Займись складом. В противном случае ты ничего не добьешься. Ты прав. Мне нужно отнестись к делу серьезно. Именно так. И не забывай. Ты всегда можешь обратиться ко мне за советом. Я помогу. За это ты мне и платишь. You're Okay. Every day all companions will submit a report on their assigned missions. You will learn if their mission was successful and what they managed to achieve. All items they acquire will be automatically assigned to your inventory. When you are ready to proceed, press X. Nice. So you got uh, some ammo and a uh, thing. What'd you get here? Uh... Decrease, not change, we'll increase. It's just very comfortable. Okay, so let's see all the negatives here. If you give no food, uh, they are content because the mission succeeded, but it took a toll on their health a bit. Okay. Your base isn't very comfortable. Okay, electricity is low. Yeah. Companion is going to be angry for successfully finishing a mission and not receiving any food. No food makes your companion hungry and lowering health and morale, so we can't do that. Uh, okay, so you can do half food, which is 0.5 of food. Uh, let's see, a single food ration makes your companion feel well-fed and content, increasing health and morale a bit. What about this? Double food rations increases your companion's health and morale significantly, apparently. Not too bad. We'll just do a regular food ration for now. There we go. Okay. During the evening, you can build new structures for your base and train with companions. Do not hesitate to use collected resources and skill points. Don't you worry about that. Oh, a heist board! What? I mean, we gotta look at that, right? What, what is this? Plan outlining every step necessary to get inside the power plant. Oh, okay. Well, not really there just yet. All right, so let's... Uh, what do we got going on here? Maybe we'll get more information about people out there that need help from that. Workbench. Uh, I know we need to do some power stuff here. Uh, I can... Do this. Where do I want to put power supply? Maybe down here? Could be good. Yeah, let's put power down here for now. Nice. 
Okay, so the comfort of the base is pretty, pretty down. What do we have here? Containers, gardening. Gardening would be a good idea. Gardening is normally the kind of thing you want to do sooner than later. Vegetable garden. Small amount of food to the inventory. Laser cutting machine. Okay, so we need a laser cutting machine for that. Which is not there. Crafting tools. Yeah, there it is. Ah, oh, just need some more electronic parts, and then I can do it. That's not too bad. Okay, so let's see about uh, what's going on with the comfort here. Um, it's not great. I could build one of these, and that'll take care of the comfort issues and give us an extra place to sleep. Six mechanical parts for... We can afford it. I think it's a good idea for us to do that. Ooh, an infirmary bed. Can't do it, but good to know that that's a thing. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So we're positive, well, neutral on our comfort in the base. It's not too bad. Laser cutting machine, we need more electronic parts. That's fine. Power supply is fine for now. Air quality, we need a laser cutting machine. So laser cutting machine sounds like it's the thing that we need. What about containers? 12 slots for storing items. Not too bad. Doesn't affect our comfort or anything, so that's good. Um, we should probably have like a container next to ammo for storage, maybe. Only takes two mechanical parts, so that's not too bad. Um, armor smith, sheet metal tools, that'll reduce our comfort again, if we were to do that. Um, I don't think we need to do that just yet. Gardening. Gardening sounds like a pretty decent idea. Takes six herbs, and two chemicals... But these are the types of things that when you build them, it's better to have them early. Right? Let's set the mushrooms here. Because I'd, I'd kind of like to do herbs, mushrooms, and then like food, I think. We'll just kind of go down the line this way. Yeah, we'll do that. I wonder how many they give. Can I see? No. Uh, that's scrapping. That doesn't matter. Can we see what we're doing as far as production is concerned. Uh, no. Okay, what do we get here? Hey, it's a ceramic plate. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. We can sort our inventory with L2. That's good. I always love it when a game gives me the option to sort. Always preferred. Okay, um... Let's put the ammo away for now and only use it when we need to. If you guys saw that message notification, then ignore that. <laughs> okay. Can I store this? I can store that. Okay. I'm not going to bring the shotgun for now because if I bring it, I'm probably going to use it. So, let's... Uh... Put some of this stuff away. First aid kit. Keep that, probably. Don't have room for all of this. We'll take the revolver ammo. Okay. So, we'll sort that now. 
Are all those things still in our inventory? Yes. Okay, so as long as they're in the base somewhere, we can utilize them. That's good to know. I hate having to, you know, get into my inventory and mess around with stuff just to do that kind of a thing. Okay. So we can't do anything else for there. Comfort. Light. Electronics. Furniture. Walls. Walls. Huh. That's interesting. It's pretty cheap to build walls. Huh. That's kind of neat. I wonder what the point of building walls is, though. Just to kind of make stuff look nice? Oh, you can build a creepy-ass doll. Get 20 comfort. That's nice, I guess. Now, why would you need a laser-cutting machine in order to build a big flower? Alright. What, kind of, what kind of chairs do we have here? Chairs and tables and whatnot. Super comfy, apparently. What do we have here? Old TV. Takes a lot of power. That's kind of cool. You can put on like the workbench. It's kind of neat. Oh, hey, look. Gramophone. Takes power, of course. Which I don't know if I really want to super duper deal with just yet. Uh, floodlights, huh? Or reflector, rather. Ooh, Chernobylite. Powered lamp. I would like to get at least positive comfort in the base, where possible. You wanna, you wanna light over here, Oliver? You wanna light? Let's, uh, just throw that down right there. There you go. Look at that. You got a light now, Oliver. Can I turn it off? No, it's on forever. Let's see here. Oh, sweet. We could change his inventory. It's not too bad. I can even give him the shotgun if I wanted to. It's kind of cool. I wonder if... I wonder if he uses ammo. Because if he doesn't use ammo, I would be completely fine with giving him the shotgun, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's check this out real quick. Da, 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 da. Episode's going to go on a little bit longer, but that's fine. Completely fine. Okay, so, uh... Shotgun. That super duper amped up your uh, artifice. What the hell is artifice? Is so that maxing out your combat and your artifice? What is artifice? Hmm. Ability to collect stuff, maybe? Question mark? I don't know. Что случилось? Anyway, uh, training. What do you got here? Yeah, show me some military tricks. If he has anything related to finding more supplies... Oh. Revolvers inflict 25% more damage, stealth, stunning... Hmm. None of those really super duper appeal to me just yet, but it is what it is. Um, we're almost halfway to the level, but uh, hey, you know what? That's going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to leave it at this for the episodes right now. It gives you a good taste of what the game is like, and um, I am willing to do more episodes for this. I'll probably be live streaming this on uh, either the 28th or the 29th or something. Um, you know, when the first episode goes live, um, by the time you guys hear what I'm saying right now, it'll be like the 30th or something. I don't know what time 
this one is exactly going up. But anyway, rambling aside, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.